normally when we're looking for information, it's really common for us to go to Google and um, start our search by looking for things like websites and news sources, even statistics. The thing is that when we're looking for academic peer-reviewed journal articles, they don't, they don't, some of them live here, but most of them don't. So Google is not going to be the place where we start doing our research for the psychology project that you're working on. Instead, what we're going to do is we're going to go into a database. What I have here is a little uh, capture of what one of our databases in the library looks like. And this one's called Psych Info. So you can see already that it's already more organized. There's a lot more different ways that you can search in it. Um, it's got these different boxes. It's got all these different buttons you can click. And um, it's quite different from Google. So I'm going to explain a little bit more about what the difference between something like Google is and a database. So when we use Google, Google is an example of a search engine. A search engine is a system that goes out onto the web and finds, basically looks at all the different websites and documents that are out there and it retrieves the language that they're using, the text, and then allows you to search that text in this box. But what it does is it doesn't really it, 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 just, it just finds the text, but it doesn't really organize anything for you. So let's say that we're, uh, metaphorically speaking, looking at all these different things. We've got, um, I'm just going to use the example of like your bedroom closet or your bedroom where, all you, where you just throw all your clothing. So you might have dresses over here and like kind of your, like your socks and underwear over there, t-shirts and jeans. Um, you can find everything because you kind of know where it is, but it's not really categorized or organized in any way. And a search engine kind of is organized like that. Like there is actually no organization at all. It's just all over the place. Databases, on the other hand, take this stuff and systematically organize it. So let's say that we have a shelf now. So instead of just throwing it all everywhere or just lumping it in a laundry basket, you can actually categorize. So you might put your socks and undergarments up there, and your t-shirts might go on the second shelf, your pants might go on the third shelf, and dresses might go down here. And so it's kind of sorting and categorizing things into boxes and categories. So it makes it much easier to search by a variety of means. That's what a database does. So to come back to the example of actually going online, if you were going to a search engine like Google, what you would be able to find is different kinds of websites, right? Like, you, you know, the, all the ones that we're familiar with, like Facebook, YouTube, things like that. Things like Psychology Today, British Columbus, Columbia Psychological Association. Basically, this is where you would find all the websites that you want to find. But all of those journal articles that the researchers wrote had peer-reviewed and then had published in journal articles, they get nice and neatly organized in a database. And that makes them much easier to find. And the database we're going to be going to is called PsycInfo. Now that we know what peer-reviewed journal articles are and where they live online, let's move on to the second video where I'm going to show you how to find the database that you need using the CAPU library website.